17 in the morning. Um, welcome to a North Dakota sunrise starting to come up over the horizon there. Yeah, we've got 27 degrees and a dusting of snow so far. It's been okay. I haven't had too many slippery spots or anything, so uh, just keeping things real probably until the sunlight comes up and probably helps it some, but I'm able to maintain my speed nonetheless, uh, keeping the hammer down on it, taking it gingerly through the curves and stuff, but uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd get the day started. Welcome to another episode of Steel Horse Travels. Uh, if everything goes good, we will fuel here in Valley I haven't decided if I'm going to fuel in Valley City or push it all the way to Fargo. Uh, most likely I go to Valley City because it's easier on and off the highway. I don't have to converge from one highway to another highway and then back to the other highway. It's just more miles, blah, 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 all that nonsense, but as I ramble. Uh, we will decide if Steel Horse gets a bath today or not. Uh, we're supposed to have measurable snow tomorrow in Minnesota and North Dakota, so I'm trying to get as far as I can, and that just takes time away from me getting as close as I can. I mean, it doesn't change my driving. It just changes what time I get parked for the end of the day um, and how long it could take me to sit at the Blue Beacon, at the beautiful Blue Beacon, and I'll give them a name drop. Um, I'm not being promoted by them, but uh, they do a wonderful job. So if any of you guys drive and you're heading through the uh, Fargo area, that is a good, solid, not perfect, but they are a solid uh, Blue Beacon. There are some that are questionable, like uh, the Blue Beacon in Emporia, Kansas. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep you guys off the bright light. Cause
pretty darn close. Normally when I'm rolling through here, we'll cross, well, first things first, here in a few minutes we'll be crossing over the Missouri River, um, which you might actually be able to get this morning because it's not foggy. I don't know the sun straight in my eyeballs. And it's a clear morning. So there's a good chance I just might be able to get a little bit of the river. It's just I got dirty windows from all the road spray you get from from the roads. So but we're 356 miles into our day. likely going to stop at Valley City, North Dakota at the Loves. Top off all my fuel tanks and get my half hour break in. And then decide whether or not we're going to stop in Fargo for fuel, which is only about another 70 miles further east. I don't even know if it's 70 miles, but everybody's gingerly driving. They've got better treatment on the road that's already on the road, so actually my truck is actually sticking in the corners pretty good. I mean, yeah, I'm taking it easy. I'm not throwing the hammer down on it, but... guys that is a I like this rail bridge that they have here pull the window down so you can maybe see it yeah that's pretty all right guys God bless good morning
stuff that they don't want to put in the water to them. Um, and the water goes back into the sewer system or the wastewater. Uh, but they filter it out and clean it out before it goes into the wastewater. If that makes any sense. So that's kind of what it sounds like I'm going to be doing is getting. I mean, it sounds like I could be going to Alabama, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina. Um, usually it's a Tennessee thing. Like we have a customer in Cleveland, Tennessee. We also have customers in Nashville, Tennessee. So it could be a, a whole lot of things. So, but it sounds like that's what they're doing, is trying to find me a load that gets me down close to Durham. So that way I can have a big delivery somewhere in the area, go start picking up what I call like the milk run, where you just go up here, pick up a pallet, here, pick up a pallet, there, pick up a pallet, and, and then work your way up back up to Minnesota. And if I get enough time, I make my delivery back to the mothership, and then usually grab something else and finish the week up because I want them to return that. We'll be back on Thursday. And Grab more work. So, um, but yeah, we're, we're rolling through, uh, not coming past Tower City. I've spent the night there. Not a bad little stop. Pretty clean. But that was pre COVID, so I don't know about it anymore. But, um, just that. So, so far, everything is going good. We are going to make it back to Minnesota. Uh, I currently have a rest stop laid out just outside of the Minneapolis area. I don't know if I'll make it. Uh, it's a pretty tight to get there. I'm not a big fan of that truck stop or uh, rest area. Um, actually, it's, it's down on my list of places to stay. But with the weather that's supposed to be coming in, I want to get as close to the Twin Cities so I have the least amount of drive time getting to uh, the mothership first thing tomorrow morning between 6.30 to 7. I make a delivery. So, there's that. Other than that, I, I, I want to thank all my subscribers and people that come through the, what I call the drive-bys that pop in and watching my videos. I'm, I'm grateful and thankful and humble that you even take the time to take a look at my videos. So, um, I'm always grateful and, and very humble about that. I never take anything for granted. So, um, I've rambled enough, I've chatted enough, you've looked up my ugly book long enough. So, I'm at my friends. God bless. I love you guys. Welcome to the channel. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, hit the notification bell. You know my next upload because they are all over the place. Uh, because I start, I, my days never start on the same, same schedule. I'm all over the place. So, all right, guys, uh, I'll get back to you. Let's take her in. Get still horse washed up. We have just got to get a layer of the funk off of this. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Just, I don't know what it is. When you know you can get your truck clean, you just gotta do it, in my opinion. It's just me. I don't like a dirty truck. I work for some companies, as some of you know, those that may don't know, I don't know. Never want to assume. Um, I'm a company driver. But my company allows me to wash this truck every week as long as I can, as long as I can get into one and 
it works within the schedule. So, because they believe in clean equipment too. That's why we have chrome wheels on everything and, and you know, my truck just gets beat up with, with the bullet holes in the front end by the headlights and the windshield because of, well, Montana likes to throw rocks on the ground. They, they say it's sand, but some of that sand hurts. Yeah, all these little shifts that you may or may not see in my windshield are from uh, Montana. All of it. Every bit of it. So, yeah. So just that. Oh, when they're going to have you roll forward, I thought this guy was going to be right now, but I'll get back to you. There we go. It's a rolling. I'll be next. Fancy squat. I'll be looking for a flashlight to the left of the screen. up closer to me. <laughs> get the layer of that crap off. Just saying. Well, we'll pop out here. We'll do a walk around. Fire back up. Fire back up my engine to the reap or to the uh oh to my heater unit oh yeah much much better yeah yeah they did all right on the everything first yep let her sit here and got all my luck covers yeah she's looking good looking real good Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my lock off, let it dry out, and then put it back on. Because when it hits that sub zero temperatures, I'm just saying, come on, let go of my key. Let it dry out in my truck and then, uh, yeah. And then when I park tonight, then I'll go ahead and put the put the lock back on. See, this is what happens when you can't freaking, they get pitted from all the rocks. Yep, or they just didn't brush it good enough. But it is what it is at this time of year. <laughs> yeah, because of all the, uh, There's just so much sand and grit. I mean, you don't know. It just is what it is, as they would say. I don't like that term, but it's true. It is what it is, so. Yeah, all these bullet holes, that's all Montana. Yep, so. All right, guys, 
So we're gonna head to Minnesota and uh, I think I'll just, ooh, I have another lock I can put on there that's dry. That way I'm legal. Because as a hazmat, I don't know if it's legal, but I know our company requires us to um, have locks on, on hazmat loads. Just that. So, well, we're out of there. That was the Fargo Beacon. All right, everyone. I'll get back to you. Well, guys, we are done for the day. <clears throat> Just cold air. Yep, there's still horse. She's nice and clean. Yeah. But well, we're done. We got to a rest stop. We're uh, about 45 minutes from our delivery. We're out of clock anyway. So um, not a bad little rest stop. Nice and quiet, proper, clean. I'd like to see a little less snow on the ground. That would be nice. Seems how we're supposed to be getting measurable snow. So um, I'm going to roll this up quickly. Got dinner cooking in the uh, crock pot already. Got that going. But it was a, a good day overall. I think we got somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 700 and... I want to say like 7.30, somewhere between 7.30 and 7.40 uh, miles on the day, so not too shabby. Um, so other than that, hopefully everybody had a wonderful day. Mine not too bad. Um, it's nice having steel ores clean, or at least getting a few layers of the, uh, the salt built up on her. Oh, yeah, let me slide out of the picture. Yeah, she's a clean girl. Mm -hmm, just saying. All right, guys. On that, I'm going to roll it up. It's Winds are starting to kick in a little bit, so um, I thought I'd stand away from Steel Horse because I do keep the engine running because I like keeping my uh, fuel nice and hot when it gets cold. So uh, next week's agenda, it looks like we're going to Tar Boro. Tar, tar Boro, uh, North Carolina. Take a load down there, and then we've got what I call the milk run. We're going to go to a bunch of different customers, picking freight for my customer that I go out to Vancouver and Seattle with. So, all right, guys, I love you. God bless. Welcome to another episode of Steel Horse Travels. Yeah, there we go. Get that in there. There we go. Alright guys. Love you. And as always, we'll catch you tomorrow. We'll catch you the next day or I don't know. We'll just we'll see you next. Okay, I decided to come back when I got in the truck. That's what we get on the day. That's our temp. That's our time. 403 Central Standard Time. Alright guys. Love you. As you can see, I got dinner cooking right there in the crock pot. So we're gonna do a little editing and get the day rolled up. All right, now, as always, I'll catch you next time.